How many of you has ever been moved to action by something that you were disappointed with, you disagreed with, you were pushing back against, or something that you just straight up hated or disliked strongly enough that you were able to move yourself to action? How many of you have had that experience? Everybody's had that experience. And how many of you have ever been moved to action because there was something that you wanted and you were compelled to go forward in order to get to it? Everybody's had that experience as well. And actually, I will also say, how many of you have ever had the experience where you were in the middle? You weren't feeling strongly in a negative way about something. You also weren't feeling strongly in a positive way. You were just kind of in this blah type of energy where you weren't feeling excited in any way for anything. And therefore, it was hard to move yourself to any strong action of conviction simply because you had no conviction about anything in the moment. All of us have experienced all of those. And hopefully that third one, when you're not feeling anything about anything, you want to reduce the amount of time you spend in that energy. It's clearly it wasn't useful for you then, it won't be useful for you now or in the future. So regardless of what energy you are dealing with, you need to be feeling, you just want to be feeling something, okay? Because feelings are emotions and emotions are energy, all right? So emotions are useful, even though we're in the emotional management business. This is something I've talked about here 